hey hello everyone so in this video we'll see how to log into the Dev azure devops portal and once we log into that azure devops portal we'll see how to create organizations within that other devops and we'll also go through some organization level settings like deletion of organizations renaming creation of new organizations we'll see some profile level settings so let's start this dev.azure.com is the url which we'll be using for our azure devops portal login now if you see the screen it's clearly stating that you can use github account for logging into this portal or we can use microsoft account for an example like outlook account which we can use for login this start free uh, this is not totally free there are some limitations on users like five basic users can be added as well as uh, the time frame for continuous integration and continuous delivery there are some limitation in that terminology so before uh, directly jumping into this azure devops let me show you how to create outlook account so if you if you need uh, you need to go this uh, outlook.com site and in this portal there is a provision for creating a free account you need to click on this free create free account button it will uh, provide all the necessary details which are required for creating a new account i am having microsoft outlook account which i will be using for login this portal if i click on the start free what will it will do it will ask for my microsoft credential i'll be using this one let me provide my password here okay so this is landing page of azure devops portal we can see here we have a default organization which has been created by the azure portal by default uh, this is very near about my ID outlook ID which have been used So what we can do either we can delete this or we can rename this organization So let me show you Some organizations level settings if I click on this organization setting This setting page will appear here uh, This is organization name then settings then overview in the left pane this is the in detail like overview and if you see under overview there is a project name the basically the organization name the url which can be used for accessing this particular organization the description section time zone let me make it my time zone okay the organization owner set uh, is reflecting here since I have used my login. We can use delete feature here to delete this organization. Okay. Let me rename it. I'll give organization name like Excel Solution. I am having different department in my organization. So instead of going to direct company name i'll be go by departments like excel solution products so it's like it's a logical grouping of projects within an organization so either we can put organization name is excel solution or we can put we can keep the name as department wise so it will give a better segregation of our projects better clubbing of our projects okay let me save it it's asking uh, for the re-entering of that organization let me put it excel solution
product okay excel solutions products let me save it now if you see the name got changed along with this URL since we have changed the organization name that's why this URL also got changed okay now if you see there are other settings as well uh, let's check the billing section what it says so under billing we can see uh, yep this is 1800 minutes for uh, CINCD and uh, five basic users so that is the limitation of this free hosting the free uh, Azure DevOps if we'll go to this user sections it's showing my name because I have created this account by default it took my name if I want I can add users here but uh, I can add maximum five users here basic users in this list just because of the limitations which we have seen let me add few users okay so I'll add to developers name let me add one more developer okay uh, one UI UX developer okay uh, we can add few stakeholders as well let me add Ian okay and Nancy so what we have done we have added couple of users here few are from development team and few are from stakeholders which they'll be uh, playing user acceptance testing role UAT role total count is one two three four five including me it's six let's see what it says as access level is basic stakeholder visual studio subscriber so basic is like read only role visual studio is super admin and uh, stakeholder is near about admin but some limitations so we'll go through in detail about all these access levels if i'll keep this send email invites checked now i'll click on add it's saying one running task will wait let's see what it says okay so now we'll say there is a one notification if i click on view all added five users more details you need one additional basic access level for this permissions so basically it's not allowing including me the count should be five and it dropped Nancy so let's continue with this four roles including me this has been passed successfully I'll close this close this okay so now uh, we are having this five users basic users which will be uh, responsible for accessing this organizations so we have seen projects we have not seen projects we'll create a uh, new projects in the next videos but we have seen how to create users add users we have also gone through billing okay uh, this breadcrumb can be used for navigation if I click on this Excel solution products it will directly uh, land to this home page the landing page 
this small profile icon user settings if i click on this it will give uh, few options like if i want to change my profile i can upload my image and everything okay few settings are there what else i can choose theme so basically there are two themes available as of now one good setting is their preview features if i click on this there are certain uh, radio buttons which are already active and few are few of them are not active so uh, best practice is to make it on because it will help if any new features is going to publish by microsoft it will be available for us for testing just for an example this themes if i'll make it on on and if i'll close it now if i can check the theme now we get more options here let me select uh, this red theme cool so this is profile level settings again i can click on this anytime this azure devops it will redirect me to this landing page i'm having this organization created let me create one more organization just for testing purpose let me click on create this time i'll say excel solution hr i'll by default it took my nearest location i'll keep it as is let me click on continue Now if you'll see for this Excel solution HR, the theme is different since we have not set the theme. But the moment when we'll shift to this Excel solution products, so theme is slightly different here. Okay. So uh, yep, yeah, we have seen how to create organizations how to make certain settings here okay we have seen what are the free limits we have also gone through the profile settings let me delete this excel solution hr because uh, in our coming sessions we'll focus more on this excel and products so let me select this i'll go to the settings under overview we are having a delete option i'll click on this I'll copy this organization name and delete it. It routed me back to the Azure uh, landing page. Let me click once more on the start free. It should take my default credentials. Yep. Cool. So uh, in the now uh, next videos, we'll see how to create projects within this given excel solution products organization and we'll uh, again revisit the settings which are available for uh, the project and we'll also see how to create teams and how to provide permissions to a given team so thanks for watching this video we'll connect soon